What's up, y'all? I'm at it again about something else that has bothered me, disturbed me. Um, although it's happened before, I think that everybody in, at some point in time uh, decides when they're going to speak out about something or what have you. I think that right now is just my time to just speak to a few people bunch of people, hundreds of people, I don't know, really, you know, whomever I can touch, even if it's just one person, it's fine by me. But this particular video is pertaining to my New Orleans people, my 504 people. I don't know what's happening in my city, but all of these babies dying, I, I don't I don't understand it. I don't I can't stomach it. And if you're trying to figure out what brought me to this point right now, well a couple of days ago we had breaking news about a shooting on the Crescent City Connection. And in that shooting, a father and his son was killed. But what bothered me more so about that story was the baby. I'm not just using that word loosely. It was literally a baby. He was seven months old, shot in his head. What the hell is wrong with y'all, man? And not to say that you were actually aiming for the child, but that doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. You ambushed the vehicle knowing that whomever else was inside besides the person you were trying to hit, there were going to be casualties too, possibly. It didn't matter to you, man. It didn't even cross your mind. Because he crossed your gang. He was a member of another rival gang or whatever. Let me tell y'all something about that gang shit. I don't... Maybe it's just me. But that, I'm in a gang and all this, that shit is so motherfucking 1982. And excuse my language, but I'm pissed off. I don't understand the logic of y'all walking around killing babies. I don't understand the logic of y'all not even trying to get out here and get a job. Do something productive. But your production comes at night when you're trying to prey on the innocent. And when I say innocent, I'm talking about these babies. These children have done nothing to you. A Lydia North, Arabian Gale, London Samuel, the latest, Deshaun Kennard, and I know I might be forgetting a few, but forgive me. But if your child, your niece, your nephew, your cousin, or whomever is a part of that number, then you should be just as angry as I am. I wear these glasses to kind of hide the size on my eyes, but I'm going to take them off right now because I need to speak directly to who's behind those triggers. I'm talking to y'all because whatever has gone wrong in your life, it's not someone else's fault. Whatever has not gone right, whatever job you didn't get, whatever the school system did to fail you, I'm sorry. But you can't take it out on innocent people. Find a way to fix your situation because you killing somebody is not remedy, remedying anything. You're making it worse because you're breaking down your community. These babies never had a chance at life. But you're sleeping at night. I can't understand that. Mothers, protect your children. Find out where your children are because what I find more often than not is that these are kids committing these crimes that are in between the ages of maybe what, 14 and 17, 14 and 21? Are you fucking kidding me? I couldn't go out and do half the shit that these kids are doing these days. They say it takes a village because it does. It's not just up to the parents the grandparents, the aunts and the uncles, but it's up to us as a community. Grab a hold of these kids because we're losing them. We're losing them to gunfire and we're losing them to the prison system. 
because we don't have a tight enough rein on these children. They are running rampant. They're running wild. I have a different understanding of the term, I'm so 504. That means for me, I love everything New Orleans. I love everything that was born and bred in me from New Orleans. These little kids these days, they're thinking I'm so 504. That means they got to go kill somebody. They got to go rob somebody. Let's go walk around in the French quarters where all the tourists are. Let's go commit a crime. Let's go commit a murder. Since when did that become the thing to do? Y'all need to get it together, man, because y'all are not leaving a legacy behind. You're leaving, a lot, you're leaving behind a path of destruction. When someone speaks your name, do you want them to speak of you just as everything bad that you did? That you've contributed nothing positive to this world? I wouldn't want to be remembered like that. You shouldn't want to be remembered like that. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you who decided to pull that trigger. I'm looking at you who knows who pulled that trigger and refuses to say something. This has got to stop. And I'm not just going to marginalize it to New Orleans. Everywhere. You got kids killing kids, babies killing babies. And I'm not, not there. I'm not using, using a literal term, babies. But y'all understand what I'm saying. I mean, you got to get it together, man. This world is coming to a quick end. Where will you end up? Ask yourself that question. Where will you be in five years? Where will you be in one year, two years? Can you answer that question? Y'all have to do better, man. Y'all have to do better. These babies do not deserve to die. They deserve to live. You are not judge and jury. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. If somebody did you something, let him deal with it. Let him deal with it. It's not on you. Man, all I ask is that y'all do what's necessary. Take the necessary steps to improve your life, to better your life. If you made a mistake, if you made a mistake, I can understand that. And I'm not talking about a mistake in, in murdering, but I'm talking about in, in simple things in life. If you made a mistake, if there was a misstep, go back and correct it and move forward in a positive direction. But if you keep on going the way that you're going, the result is going to be horrible. I don't know if you feel like nobody cares about you. I don't know if you feel like, you know, the world is just, it, it is what it is. And somebody, I'm, I'm going to get somebody before they get me. You can't live like that, man. You can't live like that. There is so much, so much good out here to be done. And you choose, you're choosing to do bad. You're choosing to do wrong. I'm looking directly at you and I'm asking you, I'm asking you, do the right thing. Whether it be turning yourself in, whether it be changing your life, whether it be walking into the doors of somebody's church, do the right thing. I may not know you. I may have never crossed paths with you. But that doesn't matter. I'm just asking you right now. As a member of my community. As an African American. As a black woman. I'm asking you. Change your life. Because there's so much more out here. That you could be doing positively. To affect the lives of somebody else. In a positive way. I hope that this touched somebody. I hope that it made somebody listen. I had to record it because it pissed me off. But I hope right now, I hope right now that there's a change within somebody because all of this, it has got to stop. Subscribe if you like. Take a listen, share it, pass it on, whatever y'all need to do, man. But I hope the message got out. Save our babies, save our children, save New Orleans, save the black community.